Welcome back folks, it's your boy Editor Matt, back again with another video. Did you know that you can create your own LUTs in Premiere? If you did, you can just skip this video. I don't know why you're watching. I recently learned that you can turn your Lumetri color grade into a LUT with a click of a button. I just didn't know this existed. In fact, I asked a couple other editors and they didn't know it existed either. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to show you something maybe you didn't know. This is great if you're passing your footage onto another editor who uses a different software and you want them to use the exact same look that you use. Or you can create a collection of LUTs for you to use however you like. Let's jump into Premiere. I'm gonna quickly show you how to export your LUT and we can run through a color grade together and export that as a LUT that maybe I'll use another time. So we're here in Premiere, I got this clip in my timeline. Let's head over to the Lumetri color panel. And real quick, just for those who want to cut to the chase, you can click right here and export as a cube LUT or preset or dot look file. But like I said, we're going to run through our own color grade and save it for ourselves. So in this case, we're going to do a creative LUT. If you didn't know, there's two different types of LUTs. There's input LUTs and creative LUTs. That's why when you look in your Lumetri here, you have input LUT here. And when you go down to creative, you have a creative look, which is also LUTs. The difference is an input LUT will convert your footage from a log profile to a Rec 709 profile. In my case, my footage is not log, so we don't need an input LUT. We're going to just create a creative LUT. So sometimes creative LUTs, they won't do anything to your exposure, they'll just affect your colors. In this case, let's add a little bit to our exposure. So I'm just gonna lower the blacks, the shadows, raise the whites, the highlights, and just create a little bit more contrast in our image. I'm also gonna raise the contrast just a, a hair. In this case, I don't wanna be heavy handed on anything because I am just creating a LUT that I'm gonna use for multi-purpose. So let's hop into our Lumetri scopes just to verify that we're not clipping anywhere. And I'm gonna add a little bit of saturation. So my monitor isn't very good for color grading. So I actually have my iPad connected to Premiere so I can see the colors there. Hopefully the colors there will be a little bit more accurate to what you guys are seeing. So let's jump into our creative area. Let's add a little bit of color to our shadows. We'll add a little bit of teal, but not too much. And then a little bit of warmth into the highlights. Let's just toggle that off, take a look. That's looking pretty good. Now we'll go into our curves. I'm just gonna add a little bit here because we did change our basic correction. Uh, but I'm just going to add a very slight S-curve and pop the mids a bit. And now we can play with all our other curves. This is where the real magic is going to happen. This is where you'll really be able to customize your LUT the way you like. So I'm just going to play around with the hues, uh, finding colors that I, that I like. I'm gonna lower the saturation in my blacks and my whites. This is a common thing done in color grading. In my case, I'm not seeing much of an effect, but in another clip, it might make a big difference. So right now, I feel like my skin tones are pretty whack. So let's go and fix that. They look a little bit green, so I'm gonna add a bit of magenta to the mids here. Ooh. I find that these color wheels are so sensitive. That's looking a bit better. I think I might have a little bit too much contrast going on, so I'm just gonna lower lower that contrast slider back down to zero. And I'm, I'm pretty happy with that look, so I'm gonna give that an export. So again, we're gonna go up to here and click Export Cube. I'm just gonna name mine uh, Example LUT. Great, now let's, let's uh, see if it worked. I'm just gonna duplicate our footage and reset the Lumetri and go down to Creative, Browse, Example LUT. Looks good. And the nice thing is we can just take our entire look that we've been using and we can change the intensity on it. So that's really nice if, uh, if you're finding that your, your LUT's looking a little bit too strong and then we can go in and tweak the rest. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for coming by. I hope this was helpful for you and you can start creating your own LUTs. If this video was helpful for you, please hit that like button down below. Hit subscribe if you wanna stick around for the next video. Peace.